Okay, so the next thing we've got is a bare sit inter internal rotation, pails and rails for one leg, okay? So we all know bare sit, it's this position. From here, you're just gonna take one leg and pull it in like that, okay? So try to keep your butt cheek in, uh, in some contact with the floor, just a little bit. It's kind of hard to, but if it lifts completely, then you might want to be here, okay? So this is my internal rotation. So we're going to do a pails and rails. That means we have three parts to this. We're going to do a passive component, pushing the right leg down into the floor. Try not to push on the knee part, but if that's what you end up doing, it's not that bad. So you're pushing and holding for about 90 seconds, okay? You're not going to feel much of a stretch, and that's fine. There's still something going on inside of your right hip, trust me. So let's say you're here for about 90 seconds. Now what are you gonna do next? You're gonna push your bottom leg into your top arm for a graded effort of 60 to 90%, okay? So we're gonna start pushing, even though it hasn't been 90 seconds, you stay for 90 seconds. Push your bottom leg into the top leg and hold. And push a little harder, 70%. Push even more, 80%. Now you should feel your outer glutes quite a bit. 90 and hold for five, four, three, two. Keep your hand exactly where it is. Reach your left, reach, reach your right knee down to the floor. Hold it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, that's it. So it's a 90 second passive stretch into internal rotation. It's a 10 second graded effort, pales contraction, pushing into your top arm, uh, into your arm, or pushing into whatever it is that we're using as a feedback tool. For 60% uh, effort, 70, 80, 90. Then keep your hand where it is. Peel the limb away from your hand. So don't move your hand away until you, know, you no longer need it peel your leg away from your hand to create that deeper range of motion. So we're trying to bridge the gap, okay?